since 2009 I've been developing open source low-tech infrastructure, things that people can make themselves from recycled materials. I'm from New Zealand originally. I didn't go to university, I didn't study or any of this. I have basically been reading stuff on the internet and making prototypes. It's all self-taught. We're heading to Lesbos to make sure that people can stay warm, stay sheltered, and stay fed through the winter. Well, welcome to sunny Lesbos. Coming up on the left is our local scrapyard, good source for bits of metal, whatever you need in there. So just along here is the big, the big camp. I can't help people with their legal status. What I am capable of doing is pitching and helping people build some stuff which is going to make the time that they're spending in this limbo less awful. How big is your tent? They have different sizes of tent, like four or five people sleeping in the tent. Other places is like 10, 11, 12, 13. The ground is cold, the weather is cold. And we know that they are, we have been treating right, not like humans, you know. So every day if we're living in this kind of condition that the more stress and crazy we become, you know. The cooking stove probably wouldn't work just because it's a little unsafe for a tent. But the larger one is the cooking stove with sand and like um like a half barrel. Volunteers inside who you know they can come here and maybe you, you well, saw we can us get like a like a workforce. 10, people, yeah, together and just like just crank them out. Just like just make them for as many people as possible and then just keep making them until everyone has one. So we have found a scrapyard which has a lot of stuff, hopefully more of these kind of 45 gallon steel drums. It's important if you're going to make stuff accessible to people that they can make it out of what they have to hand and the only thing that we're not really past peak of is waste. We have a lot of mass produced stuff and mass production is amazing because you get quite high quality, insanely cheap stuff. Yeah. You go anywhere in the yeah. world and you're going to find scrapyards like this. What we're making today is a rocket mass heater, which is a type of wood burning stove, a gasifying stove. It smokes like a normal fire, but after about 5-10 minutes when it gets up to temperature, yeah. and all that smoke starts being burnt yeah. as well. Like there's very, very little smoke that comes out of it. Cook, so you must be used to this one, huh? Uh -uh. <laughs> That's why I tell him to give it to me. You guys are a good team. Thank you. No problem. This is my first time. Yeah. This is gonna go through there, basically, on a bit of an angle. So that's gonna sit like that. It doesn't need to be exactly in the center. Also, there's gonna be like um, a chimney behind it. Everyone's like, oh my god, like trying to remember and like, what's that? And it's all fresh, they don't understand. And then, really, it's repetition. We are learning. Yeah, yeah. And we'll, I think we'll make another one tomorrow as well. We just bury this. So, the stove is for space heating and also cooking. You feed wood in here. Once it gets up to temperature, it blows smoke and it really roars. Hits this top surface, put pots on there for like for cooking. They're in containers which are freezing, they're in tents which are freezing. This will just nicely radiate heat like over several hours. The point of this project is really radical accessibility that anyone, anywhere, theoretically can make these things. It's all free online, it's all open source, and anyone in the world can access it. Good evening, Daniel. It's a freezing night and inside is very warm. 